Good to go. Good to go. Well, we, we do have another part of this meeting. Here, so. <laughs> Mr. Shelton. Uh, congratulations. Take the money and run. Put the work needs to go. Nice. Mr. Nice. Ms. Cox. Uh, thanks. thanks for everyone for coming out. Uh, most time is gone now, but uh, the school stayed, so uh, thank you for staying and uh, just be careful going home. Um, just quickly, on August 21st, I attended the um, Virginia Association of Counties, the uh, summit that they have every summer. And we were able to hear from the two candidates for governor and the two candidates from uh, for lieutenant governor speak. Um, we did talk a little bit about machinery and tool tax, and that will probably come up again this year in the session if, if that was any indication. Um, and I was able to attend the Health and Human Services Steering Committee where we work on the legislative packet, the legislative agenda for VEGA for the year. And I also sat in on the uh, Finance Committee meeting that does the same thing. So, very interesting. Thank you for going on our behalf. Mr. Gardner. Uh, I just pretty much ditto everything everyone else has said. One thing I'd like to do is acknowledge the Falling Spring Rescue Squad. Uh, they received the Carol M. Gilbert Award for EMS. It's, it was the excellence at the Star Points Conference. It was the call of the year that they had uh, involving some young people at the bridge there at Petticoat. And uh, a big thank you to them and an acknowledgement. Uh, we're very proud to have them. That's all I have. So, you uh, my only comment, and I wish you hadn't left, but that's a classy presentation right there. When you, uh, I like that. I don't know how far he came or how much he went out of his way to be there. I don't know whose company he is, but it's his life. Agreed. And it, it also speaks to your staff that's negotiated with both vendors. Yes. Right. So they don't, they don't show up if your staff hasn't been good to work with. So that's uh, something to, I hate to give him a compliment, but I'll give him a compliment. Wait till it's all over. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think he has one thing he'd like to, to just, say. Just before you wrap up. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I, I, meant, I meant to mention this during my comments about the emergency operations plan, which I know you've, you've already adopted. Thank you. but. Just, just, uh, it, it, just to show uh, continued joint collaboration with the city, we did include language in this emergency operations plan update um, that opens the door for us to um, partner with the city as far as joint emergency operations center during emergency events, extended events like the flood last last summer, and also uh, allows us uh, the language allows us to staff to kind of back each other up. Another my, my counterpart at Covington. At some point, I'm going to have to go home and get some sleep, and so is he, and it extended it. So it, it, it opens the door for us to collaborate and kind of back each other up from an emergency standpoint, especially during extended events, flooding, et cetera. Uh, and Covington um, is planning to put that same language in their EOP update next year in 2018. So I just wanted the board to be aware of that. So that just more collaboration with the city. So I just wanted you. Thank you. Thank you.